Friends of the woman whose body was found in a creek last weekend don't believe she died after a night of wild sex and drugs. Now, Lance Gross was charged with dumping Peggy Perez's body. Jake Peterson is live at the place where the two met. Jake? Well, good evening to you. Peggy Perez was a regular here at the Blue Ridge v Memorial VFW Post. Friends say she met Lance Gross back in December during a night of karaoke. They sang some songs, had a few drinks. Even after that, she moved in with Lance. Friends say things were looking good for Peggy Perez. Before Peggy Perez met Lance Gross, this was her favorite spot. Well, how are you guys doing today? Bartenders say she came in a couple times a week. Come in about 5 o'clock. 4.30 or 5 o'clock. She was nice to everybody. She'd hug everybody and give them a kiss on the cheek. In the middle of December, bartenders noticed Perez hit it off with a guy named Lance Gross. He got more than a kiss on the cheek. They got up and danced and everything, and then the next thing, uh, they was uh, carrying a conversation on. Mike Stoltz says everyone seemed to like the newcomer. So that's the first time we had seen him, so, but he was quiet and uh, polite. He tipped good. Perez moved in with Gross a few weeks after the first meeting. Stoltz was surprised about how she didn't show up at the bar lately, but then he found out why. It's very daggum shocking. There's no way to treat anybody. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, she didn't deserve that by no means. Investigators say Perez spent five days in a creek. Her boyfriend, Lance Gross, was arrested for putting her there. He told cops she died after a night of rough sex that included a dog collar and volume injections. Police say his brother, Marlon Gross, helped. I just wish it hadn't have happened. If These guys don't buy Gross's claim that she wanted drugs. I don't believe that. Drink is what she did. She didn't do drugs. They're hoping all involved in her death are brought to justice. They say this place isn't the same without getting a hug and a kiss from Peggy Perez. And we spoke to Perez's sister, Linda, today. She said she just could not go on camera. They just started making funeral arrangements, and she said the reality of this is just starting to hit way too hard. We're live here in Kansas City. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News. Marlon Gross, Lance's brother, is not in police custody. Here's another look at him. Gross is accused of helping Lance dump Perez's body on a Cass County field.